Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this art. So here's something that I want to show you before getting deep into today's topic. Hope you loved it. Please comment below your views. Anyway, so a very, very happy Independence Day to all my Indian brothers and sisters. Today, I am going to talk about the designs that became identity of India after getting independence from the Britishers. We all know 15th of August 1947, India got independence from the Britishers. But building a nation, a huge nation like India, needs a plan. So here where designs come into play. So let's get started with the topic that we will discuss today. Before getting deep into this topic, I want to tell you all that the designs that I am going to explain to you all has some controversies going on still now with their designers because actual report no one knows so stay tuned and follow the video i will explain it lately in this video the first great design became pride of bharat is our national emblem it has great history behind it our national emblem was inspired by the Ashok Sun, found in Sarnath near Varanasi. Historian says that it was built by King Ashoka, who in his later life followed Buddhism. Ashok Sun is a pillar and is made up of polished sandstone, which weighs nearly 50 tons and is about 15.25 meters in height. It is said 352,000 workers were involved in it and it took nearly 6.5 years to build the Sarnath temple between 242 to 232 BCE. Now let's get into the structural symbolism of our national emblem that was inspired from the Asok stump. Our national emblem is the highest pride, the actual Sarnath capital features four Asiatic clients at the top of the Ashok Stam, which has power, is brave, has confidence but still silent with its pride. That what our country is, that what differentiate our country from other countries. The abacus is greeted with a frieze of sculptures in high relief of the Lion of the North, the Horse of the West, the Bull of the South, and the elephant of the east, separated by intervening wheels over the lotus, a lotus in reversed position, exemplifying the fountain head of life and creative inspiration. These are carved from a single block of sandstone. The polished capital is crowned by the wheel of law, that is the Dharma Chakra. Forming an integral part of the emblem is the motto inscribed below the abacus in Devnagari script that is the Satyame Vijayate which means truth triumphs over. This is a quote from Mundaka Upanishad, the concluding part of the sacred Hindu Vedas. It is believed to be 39,7393 years old. Isn't it amazing? There is a chakra, a wheel-like structure which is known as Dharma Chakra. It symbolizes Nirvana, which means a transcendent state in which there is neither suffering, desire, nor sense of self and the subject is released from the effects of karma and the cycle of death and rebirth. We were just now talking about the Dharma Chakra. Where do you find such chakra? Yes, in our Indian national flag. We all know 
Indian national flag is divided into three horizontal rectangular color blocks. At the top, it's Indian saffron. In the middle, it's white. And it, at the bottom, it's Indian green. Beside that, it has the chakra, a 24 spoke wheel in navy blue at its center. The chakra has white as its background. It was adopted in its present form during a meeting of Constituent Assembly held on 22nd July of 1947. It became the official flag of Domain of India on 15 August 1947. The flag was subsequently written as that of Republic of India. Here I want to quote some words from Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan who later became Indian first vice president and second president who clarified the adopted flag and described its significance. He said, the Bhagwa or the saffron denotes renunciation. Our leaders must be indifferent to material gains and dedicate themselves to their work. The white in the center is light, the path of truth to guide our conduct. The green shows our relation to the soil, our relation to the vegetation on which all life depends. The Asok Chakra in the center of the white is the wheel of law of Dharma, Satya or Truth. Dharma or virtue ought to be controlling principle of those who work under this flag. Again, the field denotes motion. There is a death in stagnation. There is life in movement. India should no more resist change. It must move on and go forward. The wheel represents the dynamism of peaceful change. Now the questions come, who had designed these great designs? Coming to the national emblem of India. Before going deep into that, I would like to say that Indian constitution is a vital part that will describe this national emblem of India. The task of beautifying the original copy of constitution of India was given to Nandalal Bose by the INC that is the Indian National Congress. Nandalal Bose set out to complete this task. The constitution of India is now placed in a special helium field case in the Indian Parliament Library. The pages of the handcrafted Indian constitution are bound in black leather. Embossed with patterns in gold, it defines not just the law of the country, but its authors also envisioned for it to share Indian history and heritage. So while each word was carefully calligraphed by Prem Bihari Narayan Raizada, the task of illustrating the book was assigned to artist Nandalal Bose and his team from Kalavavan Shantinikatan. Nandalal Bose was keen to include the national capital of Ashoka into the opening pages of constitution. Wanting the lions to be depicted realistically, he chose Dinanath Bhargava, his student who studied the behavior of lions at the Kolkata Zoo. Yes, Dinanath Bhargava was the designer of the national emblem of India. This great work of Dinanath Bhargava will help us to remember him. Report says that when Mahatma Gandhi first proposed a flag of the INC, that is the Indian National Congress, in 1921, it was designed by Pingali Venakya. In the center, there was a traditional spinning wheel, symbolizing Gandhi's goal of making Indians self-reliant by fabricating their own clothing between a red stripe for Hindus and green stripe for Muslims. The design was then modified to replace red with saffron and to include a white strip in the center for other religious communities and provide a background for the spinning wheel. By law, the flag is to be made of khadi, a special type of hand-spun cloth or silk. But soon after, the three bands were assigned 
new meanings. Those are courage and sacrifice, peace and truth, and faith and chivalry, respectively, to avoid sectarian associations with the color scheme. And few days before India became independent on 15 August 1947, in the specially constituted Constituent Assembly decided that the flag of India must be acceptable to all parties and communities. And then the Swaraj flag was chosen, which has the Ashok Chakra in place of the spinning wheel. Wait, wait, wait. The controversy that I was talking about beforehand in this video is the controversy about this Indian national flag, the present form of Indian national flag. The controversy is still prevailing. The fact of the designer who had designed the present form of Indian national flag is still unknown. If we search on Google or any other search engine, we will get the designer of the Indian national flag is Pingali Ganesha. But if we take a closer look, I have discussed in this video before that, that the INC, the Indian National Congress had told Ping Pingali Ganesha to design their flag, which was before our independence. He had designed that red and green flag with the spinning wheel in the middle. After that it was changed, the red was changed to saffron and white was added behind the spinning wheel. And that was the time of Pingali Fenakya. But people nowadays admire a woman from Hyderabad. She was Mrs. Suraya Teabzi from Hyderabad. So the present form of our Indian national flag is known to be designed by her. She was the ICS officer during 1947 in PMO. On the screen, I am showing the report that was shared and tweeted everywhere. This was the actual woman that had designed the present form of our Indian national flag. But I am talking with the reports that I have researched and got. Still, the actual fact is not known. People still believe that Pingali Vinakya is the designer of our Indian national flag. But I will say that from my personal opinion, Pingali Vinakya was the actual designer of INC flag during Mahatma Gandhi's time. And that flag was inspired and changed to our present form of the Indian national flag and that is the actual design that we have now. I respect that past and the present design but I believe that the design that was done by Pingali Vinakya is not much in value for now because we have adopted our Swaraj flag that has the Ashok Chakra in the middle. So you decide who is the actual designer of our Indian national flag. Stay with me, support me and I will come with some exciting videos. So if you have liked this video, please comment below, share, like and I will come with some exciting videos like this. I will talk about art and design with you all and learn from you and give something to you. Those who have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe it and that is very encouraging for me and I am working very hard to make these videos for you all. So for the time being, bye. Jai Hind, Vande Mataram.